And what's interesting about the Bible is the Bible, get this, the Bible wasn't actually written by Jesus. I know, like, it's phenomenal. The Bible was actually a collection of stories that was put together that was just a snippet of the time. So men put those stories together and they claimed that was the final book, but there was lots of other stories at the time. Imagine press clippings of any period in time and that to be a true reflection of what's going on, right? So imagine right now, right? So it's the equivalent of what you see in the Daily Mail being like, oh, Meghan Markle, fucking have you seen it? Doesn't want to curtsy, doesn't want to curtsy. Oh, that's the true narrative of 2022. That's not the true narrative. Well, the true narrative is that we're seeing a cost living crisis, that people are finally realizing that the class system no longer serves them because the class system was created in order for a lot of people to have a lot of power and money and everybody else to fucking work underneath them and suffer. And they were told that religion came into play to make them feel gracious about suffering for their fucking mediocre, horrific lives. And that was put into play again and again and again and again. So people got wealthier and wealthier and wealthier and poorer and poorer. But in the olden days, it used to work because you used to pay into that system because the system worked for you. So you do the hours, you put in the extra time, but you put in the extra time so that you could maybe go on holiday or get an extension or, I don't know, get double glazing fitted into your house or your flat. Whereas now you're doing the extra hours not to get an extension or go on holiday, but just to decide which room to heat in your house. So now that social contract doesn't work anymore and we're starting to recognise... We're recognising that that construct doesn't work anymore and we're going, hang on, what the fuck? We've done our hard work. You're not paying us back. What the fuck is happening here? And Meghan Markle's come along and heaven forbid a black woman come along and say, excuse me, I've got some self-respect I deserve better than this shit. No, bitch, you better stay in your lane and know your place. We're going to cut that poppy head off. That's the real fucking news, but it's not the news that you'll see in the papers that will be recorded for the rest of time, right? Yeah. 